going on, everybody? Thank you for watching Real Raw and Uncut. I'm your host, Michael. I'm Anomaly. I'm Mike G. I'm Jamil. Ooh. You can call me JT. <laughs> yeah, we got a special guest tonight. Oh, I got to introduce myself. Hey, everybody. Yeah, I'm yourself. Byron. What's going on? Hey, hey. What's hey, up? Byron. What's up? How's everybody's week been? <laughs> Good week. Pretty good, pretty good. Still early. It was a good yo, week. Yo, um, your past prior. seven days since the last show. Oh, the past seven days. Boring. You didn't do nothing? I didn't do nothing. It was like no. 80 degrees and sunny outside, and you didn't do nothing? Mm-mm. Right, you did. <laughs> oh, I got to the, oh, lies. I gotta talk to the mic, right? Yeah, you got it right up on it. Mm, there we go. Hey. You can take it off yeah. if you want to. You there, you go. there you go. <laughs> I feel like Usher. What you, <laughs> what you do, Mike? What did I do? Um, film and a table read for the series nice. that I'm in. That's about it. Cool. And prep for the book release. That's about it. Cool, cool. What book release? Really? For the people. The Circle son. of Confusion, my book, <laughs> April Jesus. 27th. I caught argue, your leeway. I was just being smart. Argue about I just being smart. I caught your leeway. What about you? What you do? Uh, work. Uh, I had my first Q&A last Friday for everybody that tuned in. Thank you. And I enjoyed it. It would, um, it was a lot of informative things. It's still on my Facebook. So if you guys want to go and check it out. Now, you know, I have to throw just a little bit of shade. Oh, what was on? What was you recording on? Oh, it was my, <laughs> it oh was, my um, God. My laptop. It, the sound was terrible. It was. And I didn't realize that until It wasn't bad. Like if I didn't look at it, like watching the video yeah. and just listen to it, it wasn't that bad. It yeah. wasn't as it bad. It was when I went back. Well, Cause I, to, I text Mike, I was like, oh my God, how was the sound? He was like, it was tolerable. But I had no idea. I would have did it from my phone. I was so. like, Lord. Besides that, though, you did a really good job. Thank you. Yeah, you, you did. Thank I you. saw it. Thank you. I agree. Yeah, thank you. Well spoken. It Answer was the, the first question. We'll blame the sound on Friday the 13th. Oh, you know, absolutely. Let's do yeah. that. Let's do that. It was Let's Friday the 13th. I'm with that. I'm with that. <laughs> True. So with the Q&A, what inspired the Q&A? Uh, we, well, it was a lot of things that I felt like I needed to put out. Um, and I know a lot of people have like questions. Fires and stuff. So, I'm sorry. Like fires, put out fires. Well, no, it was I mean, a joke. never mind. <laughs> Don't slot him up because last show he was ready to go. That too. Right. I mean, well, no, it was, some fi- it was some stuff that was addressed <laughs> yeah. in there. But I know a lot of people that tune in have questions for like each of us, and because we only get an hour, we don't get a chance to answer everyone's questions. So I said, why not just do a QA and a and give people a chance to ask questions, not just about the show. But I was a little, I was a little like. Ugh. How is he going to answer a question about me if they ask him? But it's cool. You should have answered it. Uh, I did. It was well done. It was well done. I mean, well done. Yeah, it it was, was well done. You didn't want to be I a little more messy? No. no. Brian's not, not the messy I'm type. I'm not the messy type. I was waiting for you to say something. He's not, not the messy type. You can do that on yours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you already know that's what's going to happen. Yeah, you, know, you already know that. So I'm not the messy type. Take it down. You know, I'm just going to say the truth and say what it is i mean you flag and like shit. i said i mean everything that i said was actually true we you know we don't always see eye to eye on things but we really sh- don't you know we really don't oh, we don't i mean but at the end of the day we don't I enjoy but we're brothers we make it you work know, we do are you sure you're sitting here <laughs> uh, I didn't, you're sitting here i didn't feel your seat with someone else i paid my money i sure am sitting here for the month of what the new month hasn't come yet. Do we do we want to lay the it on the table? The new month hasn't come yet. Do do we want to lay it on the, the table? The new month hasn't come yet. I'm gonna leave that one alone for the sake of everyone. Because your seat would be on the table. But overall, <laughs> but back to the Q and A. Overall, the um, things were really good. <laughs> it was good. Did you watch? It was. Are really they gonna be? The tea is too sweet. That's the problem. <laughs> you wanna? I mean, did you watch it? Some of that tea, you know, like the liquid part, like this other shit. Mm-hmm. I just want some liquid. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch it though? I did. I watched the whole thing. You like it? We always act like that. We're good. We family. See, I didn't bad mouth anybody. I know y'all was waiting for that. I, I you know, low key, I wanted you to say something. Mm-hmm. I was like, wait. I was like, oh, I want him to say something. Yeah, everybody was waiting on that, but no, I'm not that. Dude. I wasn't expecting that because I know that's not what you give. Mm. But I just, I just, you know, I wasn't looking for that. I just wanted to see how you were going to conduct it, conduct the interview itself, right. and how I you were going to I think I was expecting you to be messy. I just thought she was going to like. So that's be what you open. really, you really no, think I'm thought you going to be more messy. No, no, no. I thought you would be more open about how you feel instead of like Mm-mm. keeping the peace. Nah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's only the first one, so there will be more. <laughs> All right, stay tuned <laughs> for the next one. And there I gotta put more. you on. I gotta put you on blast, though. <laughs> there will be more. 
I gotta put you Why on you blast. Why you put me on blast? Because you said something was happening in 2018. And it is. What's that? <laughs> this is not that show for that. But um, yeah, I uh, have decided to officially release the single that I recorded about four years ago. Finally. Um, <laughs> Bouncing. It's not, I don't have a release date. So don't ask me when, but it will be out before the end of 2018. It's like a unicorn, right? Bounce you like you keep talking about it, but we never see it. I mean, because I you just, I don't give release dates. Because if it don't come out, people's like, well, you said this. and, yeah, and nah. I think you need like at least like a, like a, like a few second sample. That could be doable. We can play. You know, get some interest and things. Mike, doable. you haven't really never heard the song? I think you have. I have not ever heard the song. He played the other show. You wasn't there. I was not there. Oh, okay. That's why. Mm. If I heard the song, I wouldn't give That's a fuck. <laughs> I mean, I would give a fuck, but I'm just saying. Like, I'd be like, I, I heard so the song weird. already, so <laughs> I, no, like I just it. have to wait for it to come out. So don't change anything. Like, I like it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to see what I'm going to do. Ooh. I'm going to add some Ooh. stuff to it. Ooh. So let's get into these topics. I mean, I had my topics up, but my phone started ringing. But I had heard. <laughs> oh no, I got, I got it up here. I'm pre- oh, prepared. She was doing all that stuff. Um, <laughs> um, so we had a major news release. What was this last week? I think so. Because that's when you sent it to week. us. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mariah Carey announced that she has bipolar disorder two. Well, who doesn't? You know. <laughs> what? You know, to be honest, like, I did not look up specifically the difference between one and two. I know one is, like, you need, like, to be in the hospital kind. Mm -hmm. Two is manageable. It's just you have episodes of Mm -hmm. certain things, like mania. Mm -hmm. Like, some people don't know what that means. Some people are like, oh, you're a maniac. But, like, you know, you might stay up for, like, 24 hours working and not necessarily just sitting there. Like, you might actually be working for 24 hours, but that's not healthy and not normal. Um, so stuff like that. And when she announced it, I was really, at first I was really surprised, but then I was like, you know, it kind of makes sense. Um, the, that was my question to you. You're about to answer it though. Go ahead. What? Cause I was gonna say as her like number one fan, do you think? It's- oh yes. You know, I'm her fan. Um, but yeah, I think it makes a lot of sense. A lot, a lot of sense. And at first I was really surprised. And then after it, I was like, I'm not surprised. Um, just from her actions, like some of the things she does, um, of course, you know, her voice is always tired recently and her breakdown that she had in the early 2000s. Um, to be honest, I'm surprised that it kept quiet this long. Mm. How long was it? 15 years or 15? 17 um, years? 17. Because I think she had the breakdown in 2001. Okay, so it started around the glitter. Oh, the TRL breakdown? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was the glitter bomb. Glitter. Yeah. Wow, the yeah. glitter yeah. bomb, which honestly gives me pleasure and all y'all go to hell. <laughs> What's the glitter? I Go-tee enjoy glitter. that movie. Glitter. I love oh, that we- soundtrack. So glitter? Y'all go to hell. Wow. Yes, glitter, that shit wow. is the bomb. <laughs> Okay, so like I mean, I'm, yeah, it's a total waste of time. It's a total trash, but it's really good. Like, it's <laughs> like if you sit down and smoke a joint and like, watch that movie, it's really hilarious. Well, you gotta smoke to watch it. Well, you, I mean, it's glitter. I mean, I, well, really she was in Mean Girls. Okay, too, right? I think no, no, no. Was no. Wise Girls. It was something Girls. It was her and Four Mi- Color Girls. Was it? It was no, her. Not four girls. I'm it sorry. was her and Mira Sorvino. <laughs> <laughs> it was a movie Your where she was a waitress. Away, sir. It wasn't Glitter. It was a movie where she was a waitress. I think it was with her and Mira Savino. I, I don't know what it was called. I just remember Precious mm-hmm. besides Glitter. No, yeah. she, she was, was a waitress. Another one before that. But yeah, we can move on. I'm yeah. sorry. But I'm sorry I brought it up. I'm just saying. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I can't remember I'm just saying. That, that, like, that's the Glitter Bomb, but that was some of her best work. Glitter. You, you, you don't feel even know that. It's mm. just Glitter. No, no, I'm saying Glitter Bomb. It I'm, bomb. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. calling it the whole tour. That's what oh, I'm it's just Glitter Bomb. During that time, that's what they were calling it in the media. Yeah. What do you feel? How you feel about Glitter? It's cute. You got the D. <laughs> I mean, I like the soundtrack. I, I like like the. I have two. I have two of the songs. I like. I think four of them off the soundtrack, and then it's like four of them I really like, and the other ones I really don't like. So it's no really middle ground for me. It's not one of her top highlights for me. I don't mm. really care for it like that. I've watched the movie, of course, a few times. It's cool. Right. But that's all I feel about <laughs> that. All right. Right. Well, congratulations to her for opening up and getting that off her chest. <laughs> yeah. What's that what? for what being? What's that, that for being? 
I mean, I don't know. That's Mariah. You got beef with Mariah Carey? I don't know Mariah to have beef with her. And like <laughs> I said, I don't have beef with people. Either I fuck with you or I don't. Ooh. All right. I don't know Mariah. I mean, how do you feel I about mean, her I announcement? Just, I mean, I guess it's, yeah. You just, it is what it is. I mean, I feel like, what did she have, she should have done it before. Like, what were you hiding? Did you didn't, you, you know, people wasn't going to accept you? Or? Exactly, yeah, that's exactly what it A was. A lot of people I mean, shame in, in the early 2000s, like no that. one, mm-hmm. it's not like now. Like now, everybody's going to therapy. Everybody's, you know, doing, like then it was not, you don't announce stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You I mean, don't talk about Mariah stuff Carey, like that. So, I mean, well, okay. I mean, she was yeah. still Mariah Carey, but she was still, I don't know if she felt that she solidified herself enough to be like, gotcha. Okay. I can do whatever sense. I need to do. You know? When you're in the public eye, though, and you announce something like that, you people leave yourself look- open to a lot of criticism right. sometimes. And people are gonna look at you like, oh, well, can she work? Can she like be on a right. tour? Do I want to sign her? Mm-hmm. Do I want to have her a part of my whatever the That's thing true. is? She yeah, any babies. little thing that she does, it's gonna and be like, oh, she bipolar. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And she has kids. Yeah. That's well, true. I mean, she's been taking care of her kids. So I think she's all right. You know, yeah. she got two yeah. badass kids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She goes on tour. You know? She yeah. stay on tour. I think she's okay. That's yeah. that. That's well, that. Well, I guess we'll applaud Mariah for. You've being, seen her in concert before, Mike? Being brave. I have not seen her in concert before. Yeah, no, sort of a there. purpose. Sort of on purpose? Yeah. Just so you're not disappointed? No, not that, not that I'm not disappointed, but I don't want I don't want outside situations to affect what may happen when I do see her. Mm-hmm. I don't want to have a bad day and go see her. I don't want someone to piss me off in line and then I go see her. You know what I'm saying? Like I I want you know my vision of who Mariah Carey is for right now to stay where that's. I agree, but then I disagree because I'm like, even if that that's like me going to see Monica, like it, it, I can have a fucked up day. Okay, so what if you? Yeah. But when I go yeah. and see Monica, see, yeah. my whole like yeah. mood just changes. Mm-hmm. Automatically. Speaking like, of Mo, <laughs> speaking of Mo, changes. May 11th in Philadelphia. What's up? Let's do it. I got some I'm business serious. out there anyway. So let's go. I'm serious. I was asked to go. I was like, oh, I'm going to ask B if he want to come. Let's go. We can do it. May 11th. It's a Friday inside. in Philadelphia. Let's do it. <laughs> Friday. Friday. All right. Are we done inviting people? <laughs> you want to come? No. Oh, okay. Exactly. So you were done inviting people. <laughs> mm. Anyway. I'll you, go with you to see Mariah. You done made I'm me lose to a my Vegas track of thought. And, oh, yes. I, what I was going to say. Thank you, Kai Sebastian, for tuning in. Monica does not lip sync. Thank you so Ooh! much. Anyway, what I was going to say, okay, what if you see Monica and a Tamar situation happens? Like, she walks right past you, don't even acknowledge That's you. not going to happen. Not saying that it's not. That's not going to happen. Okay. Okay, but you never know what may be going on That's in Monica's personal life. I'm speaking from personal may... experiences and meeting this woman. That's She's not going to happen. She's still human. That is true. You never know what might happen. That is true. You, but can't, I, you can't say it won't happen. It probably happen. won't happen. But you can't say it won't happen. <laughs> exactly. It probably won't. It's oh, he's like that. that. He do not know how to think outside the box, y'all. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't foresee her being like, mm-mm. no. But what do you, you don't, you don't see that happening? You know, child, I do not have to back up before <laughs> you just me. We already know what that is. I was just asking a hypothetical question. Maybe if she doesn't know your face exactly. and she doesn't realize that you're there for her, she'll walk past. But if I'm she knows your face, she's, she'll, she'll stop. I'm just saying there's a lot of circumstances that might happen that you know. You know, I'm not saying. Out of the, all the times you. that I've met her, <laughs> I've never got that yeah. that energy, that vibe. Right. So right. I can't answer that question. Brandy, on the other hand, maybe. But I'm just saying. we're going to Even meeting her, I never topics. got that vibe. So I never got that vibe from her either. Now, behind social media, yeah. But in person, she don't. <laughs> no. No. Oh, well, that's no. good. No. Now Mariah might do it though. To everybody, cool with her fans. I think so. You see, you, you see. Oh. <laughs> already. <laughs> already. <laughs> One of her personalities might. Okay. Mariah, oh. no, it's Kim. It's Kim. So, so we don't have. Um, but over the Kim. weekend, Beyonce <laughs> performed at Coachella. She did. She did. She from did. what I saw, was amazing. I love this she picture. Was. Yes, I would wear that sweater, that hoodie. So and she, she also brought out um, Kelly and Michelle. And yeah, Salon. Which was dope. And, and Salon. Yeah, and was dope. And Jay- oh, that was dope. How come she never bring out Latoya and Latavia? What's up with that? <laughs> okay. I mean, well, I'm her just dad, saying, they did no, 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 no. Like, come on. And you're doing I love survival. that song. Come on. I love her that dad song too. owns the name. I know. So I'm just being I think, stupid. Yeah. I know. 
She's <laughs> still Beyonce. <laughs> she can bring out whoever she want to bring out. Oh, yeah, she don't have true. to announce it as a Destiny Child thing. Right. Just bring them she out. can bring them out. My yeah. two best friends. Okay. And that's okay. what happens. <laughs> what so how, did Destiny how did you feel about the um, performance? <laughs> I liked it. You did? I, I did. I liked it. Yep. I liked it. I love Soldier. They kill Soldier. Yeah, I liked it. I was like, okay, Queen B. Come on, girl. Like, I liked it. I was proud Did of it. Did y'all stay up to 2 o'clock in the morning to watch it? No, I didn't. Hell no. Catch it the next day. no. I actually got <laughs> up at 2, and I was like, oh, it's on, so I just clicked on YouTube. And I was already up, so I just cut the TV on and started watching it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't stay mm-hmm. up. I, yeah, I was going to watch right. it anyway. But this nigga right here <laughs> sleep like shit. I, I started the next I morning. I sleep. It was. Th- yeah. She had the it HBCU was. thing going. She did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Somebody said that they brought the HBC. She brought the HBCU to Coachella and all that stuff. What was she about to do? Hmm? Any different? Then the do black that. Black culture to the white um, festival, basically. Did you mm-hmm. think she wasn't going to do that? I didn't think we anything didn't know what she, she had planned. Yeah. Yeah. Did you? That. Did you? Do you think that she would never do that? I don't have any expectations for her performances. I'm not one of those fans. I just feel fans. like that's a part of what she is about. So she would have brought it anyway. She's got she's got the all women band. She's got that's only been you know, recent. That's like only been the last couple albums. I feel where you're going. I'm just gonna go ahead and step in because Miss Thing is a pop artist. She's always been a pop artist. Right. Look mm-hmm. at her costumes. Look at her songs. Look at right. what she sings and all that mm-hmm. stuff. It's only been the recent albums where she started getting the women band, and then mm-hmm. it's you know it's called growing up and evolving as an artist. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. You know, with everything going on in the world, yeah, salute your blackness. Who else is going to? Right. But don't say she's always been that. Mm-hmm. I just didn't expect her to like, not and do it. And the guest has spoken. Hmm. Yeah. Well, speaking of her blackness, she's the first black just woman to headline Coachella. <laughs> what you say? I said she's the first black woman to headline Coachella. Yeah, oh, that's yes. That's terrible. That's terrible. It really wow. is. It's 2018. I but, I mean, you know, it is I what mean, it is. I mean, but it's good because that, that opens the doors for other people to be headliners and stuff so speaking of other people because i'm tired of her um i heard that tony braxton has fired somebody else living from, legend from her tour <laughs> now i didn't hear nothing about tracy though does anybody know about what happened to tracy, tracy was the, um, the week um, tuesday I, when we no, came i think i heard last about tuesday. It. tracy oh God, I supposedly I was fired first something because it, from what i read it was something to do with tamar having to do with that um, no, 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 no. This is what it was. It was between Tamar and Tracy. Okay. According to sources, allegedly, Tony had to choose between the two, and she chose Tracy. That's what I hear. Why was she chose she Tracy? She chose Tracy to leave, to fire her, to okay. keep oh, Tamar. Okay. 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 okay, that makes sense. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Makes more sense. Yeah, because Tamar will fill the seats for her, so it's, it's okay. best. Like, who's really coming to hear last call? I mean, who's coming to hear <laughs> Tamar? A, A lot, lot of people. people. Oh. Yeah. Would well, she get fired too? Though? Brian, you better respect uh, the girl. Like I, honestly, she can she'll she'll pack a house yeah, out. Even though okay. she looked like um, Magic Johnson's son, she will still <laughs> blow down. She does the fucking bit. house. Okay, I'm not taking her talent. That bitch look like her. she could pick up a I'm basketball. A and so you would buy a Tracy Braxton ticket over a Tamar ticket? Never. Said that. No, I would buy a Tony Braxton. No, she's not in the ticket. equation right now. It's okay, Tracy well, and um, Tamar. Apparently, we don't speak hypothetically mm-hmm. on this. So I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll do what I did when times. Tamar was on the Escape Tour. I'll be turn your head. Out and you did walk around that arena the whole time she performed. When Tony Living Legend gets on stage, why do you hate her that much? I don't hate her. I'm just <laughs> not you got a fan. Out of your scene that you paid for to leave. <laughs> I didn't of just pay for her. It. I paid to see. I didn't Escape say you paid for. I said Monica you paid for your seat. Right, and my seat was still good. Can you imagine that? I didn't pay for her. So I'm going to pay for these two acts. No, y'all, he's not lying, though. He walked around the entire arena until she finished. Put you in a sequestered room while (laughs) another bitch is on stage performing. I didn't like her like that. I would just sit through and be like, you know. And I've told this story before. What done it for me is I'm going to go ahead and pay for these two bitches right here. What, throw your hair back after people have paid to see you? Security, come get me. I'm done. I'm done. Come get me. All it, it took for you, all you had to do was say, hey, how you doing? Like, I like people, you didn't like her before that anyway. No, 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 and that's not, that's what done it for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, people was like, hey, Tamar, how you doing? And you just flick your hair back and walk the fuck off. But you will never get another But I don't think that's head. what done it for you. Like what Mike said, I think it's 
it was stems you further didn't like no, her before. I, no, because I, you I bought said, the first album. But you said before I that the first she wasn't going to the 2000s or the second first album. The first album, first album, first album is amazing. Album. Both of them. Her no, no, no. The first and album is amazing. Her I'm first sorry. one, yeah. First and album the second one. 2000. Great. Yeah, like 2000. That one is like, yeah, that's bought, timeless. Yeah, I liked her, but then I was just like, mm 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 Nah. You ain't about to throw your head back at me, bitch. You will never get another time. You really took that to heart. Because after that was done and I went out and I was fine with it. And I see I've never purchased Still anything to Mar Broxton since then. Because I didn't pay to come meet her, so I didn't take offense to that. It's important to be nice to your fans. And though. then like everybody kept That's telling me maybe she point. was zoned out because she's about to walk That's on stage. That's a crock of shit. You wasn't zoned out. She heard she everything. Was, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That I mean, not deaf. We I performed with a lot of bitches. Where she's standing. And I've been on a lot of stages. <laughs> we were like on the backside. Yeah, you can hear, so just, you you can hear what you want to. You can hear like. Yeah, you can hear what you want to. So that uh, that that put the nail in the coffin for you for right. Her. Like I you mean, kind of hear what you want to. So uh, okay. it's people that was on that tour that's been in that business way longer than you, mm-hmm. and they were nowhere There's near bitches nasty. That do meet and greets, it will not. Yeah. They were nowhere until the last person exactly, got and you pop on the just scene because and, girl, no matter how tired they are, and you going through you know some type of breakup and domestic violence and shaving off your head, and that gives you the right to talk you to anybody any kind of way. No, I mean you know he's actually he's right. He's fucking right. Thank you. You know, I tell him to wear it out. He doesn't. So you gotta, you gotta come back. You gotta come back and watch. Oh, all right. You let me. You just let me know. Yeah, I saw her last week. Was it? Was it? I don't know. <laughs> you supposed to. Ooh, but okay. you, supposed to you, you supposed to at least act like you know. <laughs> oh, that's being okay. fake. I'm not being fake. I'm not being Watch fake. Watch out, everybody. <laughs> yeah, ooh, but oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. All right. So, so Wanda Braxton mm-hmm. is suing Vince. <laughs> that's funny because she found out that basically on paper Vince is saying that. Tamar wrote and sung the whole Braxton Family Values the theme song. I have a question about that, Mike. Where you <laughs> go ahead. You know, finish your spiel and then I'll get into it. I said, go ahead. You finish? The Braxton's theme song, I may be deaf, or I guess, but I only hear Tony. Yes. It's all of them. It's, it's all. Yeah. It's, it's all clearly, of them. I hear her. It's clearly all, all of them. Really? Tamar and Tony. Yeah, yeah it's all of them. No, though. they're all in there. Yeah. That's I'll why they all try to sound like, like the audio without watching the actual yeah. clips of them flashing. Yeah, it's I, all of them. I could show you where everyone's voice is at. Please, because I'm honest, I really don't. I, I hear Tony and, and I applaud her because I be trying to sing it and I cannot get to one. Of course, name. of course, they're gonna run Tony's vocals a little bit higher than everybody else. <laughs> I be trying to sing it, but I can't. But um, I do have like Tracy's to one different. You know how to Tony Tracy, Miss E. Okay, I try. Y'all, let's not try to sing. One here, but yeah, um, I ain't heard no song yet, so I can't say nothing. Well, I never claimed to be a singer, so boy, nobody so. was talking to you. I was talking to Brian, but you says don't try to sing. I mean, I've never I tried was to be struggling. A Who was struggling? Uh, continue your show. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, y'all was struggling a little bit. Let's not <laughs> let's not lie now. Do y'all know the words? Clearly, you didn't watch my Q&A. <laughs> Let's just say that. Clearly I did. did. But continue your show. I <laughs> did. But anyway, um, I find that real, you know, a little bit hanky. How are you just going to not give them? Can you imagine how much money they should have gotten from mm-hmm. every show and every season that's played, but every stream and that's been streamed? It's not all Vince's fault that her paperwork wasn't in order. She they should have were her under paperwork Vince as a manager for a while. But her paperwork still should have been in order as I get this but percentage wait, off but this. Wait, who made that choice? Who said, who all got together, all got the girls together and said, hey, everybody, why don't we become, why don't we let Vince be our manager? Because they was going to say no. They because were it was. Well, why the fuck ain't nobody say no? They was going to say no. <laughs> why did they say no? <laughs> I mean, back at that time, why would they? 
It was Tamar's husband. But Vince even, is most successful. Oh, that's like, well, oh, that's I'm, like I going in the business with your broke Tony ass cousin. Also had a say no, so oh, he was too. not broke. No, I'm yeah, not saying that, but I'm just broke. saying it's a, it's a family like, thing. Like, come on. Yeah, and then why to would avoid they, things like this, they're now that, you're up in court fighting your that. sister's ex-husband. But they come from that. They come from doing everything in fam- in house, in family. Like, they have all these sisters, like... That's what they, they not do. The Jacksons, I get it. They not the Jacksons or the DeBarges. <laughs> Child, but okay. I mean, what you feel about the Braxtons? No, I mean, I, I mean, I only like two of them. The rest of them, they can kick rocks. I really do don't you know like? them. I don't really. I mean, who? Who? Come on, Tamar and, and Tony. I, I got all of Tony's shit. I got all of her shit, and I got like one Tamar album because. Which one know, do you have? I got the first one. Like the the real first yeah, the one, fir- the, first the real first one. one. Okay. Mm-hmm. The one when she was in that relationship. Well, mm-hmm. Have you heard the other ones? I mean, I have. They are, right, you know. I mean, it's Tamar. You know, it's cool. Tamar. Yeah, it's Tamar. And that means what, Mr. Harris? <laughs> you gotta pronounce <laughs> it right. Okay. Didn't you want me to leave? Yeah. <laughs> Stick well, I'm to the time. And I wanted to take some Stick extra time to, to talk about my girl. Stick <laughs> to the time, all right? Did I Stick take an extra? Time. What's the point of having the time if we're not gonna stick to it? Bitch, you put the time up there. I didn't put the time up so there. So stick to it. Thank you. But um, Stick it to them or stick it. Someone's asshole of the week. <laughs> oh, yeah. K. Michelle. Miss Big Booty herself. What did she do this time? Child. Yo. Right. What? That's how Shut I feel. Up. Shut <laughs> up. That's exactly how I feel. Shut up. You know. Right. Performing in a wheelchair following surgeries. K. Michelle has always been very open with See, her the thing is. She said that her recent procedures to remove the silicone she from released, her ass. She, Are you kidding? <laughs> got to be a joke right but she she released uh, something so. and wanted i guess everybody to have some type of sympathy for her but then you later read she says oh but i can't get you know i can't forgive the hate that i have or the hurt that i have and all this of the, you know whatever else so my thing is that's why you're going through what the fuck you're going through you know i mean okay. point point blank and period it is you in order for you how you expect to have all these good things that you want to happen, but you can't forgive. Mm. I noticed the little flip floppy thing that she does. She's like, always one. Yeah, when she was she'll cry victim. Oh my God, nobody likes yeah. me. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. and then she comes back. Well, you know, this person is yacht like. Come on, girl, really. And now that you're having this surgery and you're in, you're in the hospital, you want everybody to say, "Oh, okay, it's gonna be." But I'm gonna no, tell you right now, performing on stage in a wheelchair or motorized fucking like, car I mean, is really? not the way to get sympathy from me, Kay Michelle. No. Right? Like, oh, come on, Kay. Really, it's not sit true. at home and rest up, right? And then no. come back, right? No, that's so not yeah, a good she, look. Even if it is true, of the week. Well, no, this is alleged. Are we supposed to say alleged? Alleged. Yeah, well. You can't. Look, I ain't got no money for nobody. Then she was like, oh, ass. well, you know. <laughs> alleged, <laughs> alleged, <laughs> alleged. She's like, well, maybe I can use two chains wheelchair because I think he was in an <laughs> accident a couple of years ago and performed in a wheelchair or something. Two okay. different music, though. Like, exactly. Okay. I was yeah. like, okay. I'll okay. give a damn. If you just need a minute to get it together, you don't need to be performing in a wheelchair. Yeah. Yeah. Take your minute and get yourself together. Exactly. And but see, that's the thing. That's why, like, I think she's just crying for attention. She, she is crying for attention. For attention. But so I'm you think like, the first bipolar of all, disorder? Nobody told to you to get all girl. that shit pumped into your butt. <laughs> I'm that's the first. Wait, I got. Foremost. I got the wait. The most important fucking. Why question. you getting shit pumped in your butt? So if you saw her on stage in the wheelchair, could you imagine the choreography? Ain't no choreography. <laughs> you choreography. roll forward. I mean, I you roll backward, or you sit I mean, there. But that should be hidden. Get them up. Couple she of dances up there. She can there. learn how to do a spin or something. Get some um, handicap outfits. I ain't not having yeah. handicap people come get me. So mm. this she able, got a whole um, doctor set. We supposed to say disabled. I think that's probably no. You can say correct. handicap. You can say okay, handicap. so somebody my... call in and we can we'll discuss that. <laughs> disabled or handicap? <laughs> call in right now. Set here's, us straight. Here's my thing with K Michelle. Homegirl. Can really sing, okay. Regardless, she got a lot of auto tune on her album. I got an issue with that, mm-hmm. bitch. You got all this surgery You're talking about my my ass is fat. Blah, blah, blah. Then came out and said they botched me. I don't know why I did this. I was like, wait, 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 girl. Yeah, she did, but then she then she I read somewhere too that she had lupus. That was a lie. Or so- she said she said she had lupus, but then she said no, I don't have lupus. It was something else. <laughs> Clearly, that's why yeah. she's the asshole of the week. Like, it's true. Her <laughs> I mean, music, she has a voice where she can really sing some uh, real R&B. But instead, she decides to keep it ratchet. Do you have any water? Yeah, I got water. No, I'm sorry. I don't have water. <laughs> like, come on, Kay. So, yes. Well. Kimberly, Pate, 
<laughs> you are my asshole of the week. I just want her to sing and be quiet. Yeah. And when you <laughs> have drama with so many people, you may be the problem. Like, you can't have issues with that many people, and it's everybody else mm-hmm. all the time. You and if this shit happens you to find you, K, please come for me. You I want you to. Why she just didn't get a... Yeah, you heard him. Why she, didn't get him. Why she just didn't get a fat transfer? My Instagram is the real be anomaly, so I'm, come on, K. Sometimes the fat transfer ain't visible, so I guess she wanted it to show. I mean, and she said it was hers at first. She said she didn't have no butt surgery at first. Then she came out saying her booty hurt. On. She's irrelevant to me. <laughs> I, she until she starts her. singing and acting right, I don't got time for her. I'm sorry. That All was right. a little harsh, but it's true. Okay. My mic is spinning. Yeah. Well, keep it still, child. I don't feel like I'm All right, so we're going to take a quick five minute break, and when we come back, we're going to be talking to Byron. Well, I'm going to be talking to you. Uh, What's well, up? Either one. Oh. <laughs> either or. Welcome back to the Real Raw and Uncut show. Of course, I'm your boy Welcome. Anomaly. I'm Mike G. I'm Jamil. You can call me JT. I'm the other host, Michael. And we got a special guest tonight. Byron Smith in the house. <laughs> I'm so glad Welcome, you, Byron. Said, <laughs> you said your last name. Um, <laughs> no priors. No priors. <laughs> wow. Priors. So, Byron, tell us a little bit what you get in. I mean, because you, you do a lot, mm-hmm. you know. Um, you are a fitness trainer, if that's correct, right? Yes, and fitness then trainer, you, personal trainer, uh, 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 fitness instructor. Uh-huh. All of the above. Dancer. Well, not I mean not all of the above, but I mean in that realm. So, yes. Yes. Cool. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you, you're probably going to get me for this, but you also have danced and still dance with Maya, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Nice. How did, um, tell us, uh, how did you end up linking up with Maya? Well, it was about eight years ago. She had an uh, audition at McKinley Tech High School. Um, and at the time, I was working at Victoria's Secrets in Montgomery Mall. <laughs> and I decided to throw all that away and take a chance on my dream. And bitch, I left. I made it. <laughs> no, I, I audition, you know, and from the rest has been history for about eight years. So you know, whenever nice. she needs the kid, she calls me up, you know, and I go and travel. So it's how cool. how is she like as a person? Fucking really fun, really awesome. I'm not just saying that like she's really nice. She looks like it. I she's got it at her house. Yeah. Like she knows you. She's like she's not a Tamar. You know? No, no, no. <laughs> I, I feel like she seems like a like really she knows you. She really like seems like a really <laughs> sweet, like down to earth kind of girl. Mm-hmm. She shout out bitches. Yeah, she cool. She cool. Yeah. So what's up, Maya Planet Nine? Instagram, mm. how are you? New album, four twenty. Mm-hmm. Really yeah, good too. <laughs> really good. And I'm so so I'm sure you dancing with her has also opened up a lot of doors for you to do your own personal things. Correct. It's yes. Yes. Right. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, you want me to elaborate? I'm uh, waiting yeah. on a follow-up question. And I think okay. we have a picture. Do we got a picture? I mean, I, y'all got a lot of pictures. Do we got a picture of him? got a lot of pictures. Being fit. <laughs> that's not maybe <laughs> but yeah i got to open up my doors uh i mean it got i got to open up my doors yes it helped me allow me to uh just venture out and try some different things um here in the city you know uh uh perform and choreograph for local artists uh like devin white and you know some other people um uh, um make me help me branch out into the fitness world because you know kind of dancing and fitness goes hand in hand in my opinion in my world so what kind of dance do you do um hip-hop stage uh uh contemporary and kind of you know like jazz stuff you said staged contemporary well like state you know backup dance and stage performing gotcha gotcha gotcha. like that i was like staged i was like what's that mean (laughs) (laughs) Ooh, look at that (laughs) <laughs> oh, you came alive! Uh, <laughs> but you came up, you came alive. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, and that photo was actually done by uh, Click Photos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know Click mm-hmm. Photos personally. Um, if you guys want him to do a shoot for you, his IG is at one click pw. Yeah, it's really good right. work. Really good work. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was a fun day. Do you eat? Yeah, I'm hungry right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They take a lot to look like that. Motherfuckers come up to me. I want to look like that. I want to look like you. But well, you better start eating, motherfucker, because you're going to be a hungry ass. How long have you been, like, personal training and working on your body? Um, Well, working on my body in a sense, um, probably since I, like, really started dancing professionally. So maybe about 10 years. But mm. not, like, anything crazy. Just, you know, building. Like, I'll be 34 in May. So just building. Learning. What? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you do, do you train anyone? Like one on one, I can. You do. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't currently right now, but yeah, I can and I do. Okay. Yeah. And when you do, what are your rates? Um, um about sixty to sixty-five dollars. Was you looking for, for hours? An hour. Uh-huh. I may be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just training, JT. <laughs> Just training. Oh, okay. What I you, said training. <laughs> what you need to work on? What you, what you trying to work on? I'm trying to. Feel my upper body a little mm-hmm. bit more. Well, I, I know I will definitely core. be reaching out to you. I, you know, once I drop this song, I'm going to have to. Well, you know. Oh, everybody trying to get training now? I'm sorry? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> everybody trying to get training. I mean, as I, <laughs> but as I was saying, so, you know, when, when, this, when I decide to officially drop this record, I'm definitely going to, you know, because everything has to go in hand. So, you know, image wise. So. I will definitely be calling on you, my friend. Cool. Got you some business in here. I'm here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to look like you in that picture. But I mean, even, <laughs> it's not just business. Like, I mean, you know, I've known Byron for like 15 years, mm-hmm. even before time. The, the business aspect. Like, we, we, were, we were, um, you are so fucking nosy. Right? <laughs> 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 nosy. Ah. It wasn't off of anything sexual, if you want to know. I wasn't, it wasn't, I wasn't no, insinuating it. that. I was just yeah, asking. Exactly. Everybody I say that mean? I know, how did y'all meet? <laughs> like everything ain't it's always really about sex. I was just, a- but, I didn't, um, I was not insinuating anything. I was just asking. Anywho, <laughs> as I was saying, um, so yeah, it's been about 15 years. Um, gosh, I don't remember how we met. But anyway, I, I do remember conversations and saying, you know, planning out and mapping out goals and stuff and as far as what we wanted to do. And mm-hmm. so to see, actually to see him now doing what he wanted to do, um, I'm proud of him. Mm, thank you. Yeah. Thank proud you. I appreciate that. Congratulations. That means a lot. Thanks. <laughs> I can be blushing on camera anyway, so let's move on. <laughs> moving on. We're not moving, we're not moving nowhere. We're talking about you for the rest of well, this evening. Well, come on, MG. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> MD. Let's go. I thought you said M- well, what? MD. Well, right, Mike. They sound the same. Sometimes. Let's go, Mike. <laughs> I'm, I'm Michael. That's <laughs> uh, but yeah. So I dance too. Oh, do you? Is I do dance mm-hmm. actually. I don't do too much street. I like that picture. I, I do like that picture. Ooh, look, I was right, struggling. You were just starting your hair process. So right here. I was just starting my hair process, and I was also this is in college, mm-hmm. um, and I was. I full time majored in business, so dancing. I minored in dance, so trying to like go through classes all day long and like be in the books and then go to dance class was rough. We have like two little short videos of him. Let's get into those really quickly. Oh shit! I shouldn't have seen that. That's okay.
Uh, so to those Everyone who I asked me Does he really dance You saw for yourself I really danced I had a full ride For dance To university I had six offers To major in dance uh, To six different universities In Virginia mm-hmm. And one was In Pennsylvania Um yeah. Was what year was that from? Uh, the first video was in college, and ooh, that might have been like 2014. Okay, that was. I graduated in 2015. I didn't dance any at all because I was trying to graduate. Um, that was 2014. Then the second video was in high school, um, and I had the biggest crush on that girl. <laughs> That's in that video. Oh my gosh, I had the biggest crush on her. Mm. She was a hoe. You still have a crush on her? <laughs> No, hell. Do you hear that, young lady? <laughs> Do you hear that? She was out. You put all your fucking shit out there. She was out. <laughs> um, she was real flexible, though. <laughs> she was really flexible. Uh, but yeah, I do dance. I do actually dance. Um, you know, I don't dance too much these days because I'm trying to adult and stuff, but mm-hmm. it happens. I, I definitely too. don't do no fitness stuff, which my fitness is like picking up the biscuit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Put a little and honey one, on top. And two and three. Okay. And four. <laughs> so, what else you got going on? You dance? You do fitness? Um, yeah, I'm actually uh uh, uh I'm one of the uh male burlesque dancers down at Saks Restaurant on Sundays. You know the uh the brunch that's offered is called Sir. So I'm one of those guys. Uh, if oh, you've heard of it, uh-huh. I haven't heard of it, but you said it's mm, where it's a Saks nightclub. Well, I'm sorry, Saks Restaurant, seven thirty four. What is it, 11th Street Northwest, Uh huh. downtown. Okay, that's not far from my office. Sir Mel Burlesque on Sundays, 10.30 to 4 p.m. It's right. a little early, but it's I, a bl- well, it's a I can make it happen. Two shows. I can make it's, it happen. It's brunch, you know, so it's bottomless mimosas. You said till 4? Mm-hmm, it's a bunch I, of neck and neck. They have bottomless mimosas, Mike. So, yeah. Go check them out. You know, you look, if it's alcohol, I'm going to be there. Performances, <laughs> G-strings. <laughs> Yeah, costume changes. I, I will be there. Sweat, baby oil, all in your eggs. Just don't touch. <laughs> just, I don't, wanna, I don't, don't touch <laughs> me with it. But I look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never seen a dark skinned person turn red before. <laughs> Who? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still dark skinned. So <laughs> So what's going on in your personal life? Are you single? Mm-hmm. I am single. Uh, I've been single for about a year. A year? Well, no, no, no. Yeah, year and a half, year. I think, yeah, but I'm I'm single. Yeah, I ain't with nobody. No more. No more? Very mm-hmm. single. How many relationships have you been in? Excuse me? How many relationships have you been in? Um, Four. Four? Four reputable ones. What was the worst one? Mm, let's see. Not necessarily the worst one, because I don't have any... I'm not the type that has bad relationships in a sense. You know, uh-huh. just some some trying ones. The last one was a little trying. What made it trying? Mm, you know, just some stuff. Some stuff. Some stuff. Mm, what some kind things. of stuff? Right, like. I mean, you know, growing apart, you know, some some secret shit. Um, oh, that's I want the secret stuff. That's oh, no, we, well, we're not going to get into that. I mean, you, know, <laughs> you, know, you, yeah. you can put two and two together. We're not going to say who she know who first and who did what and who found pictures of who. No. Oh, but, okay. All right. You know, we won't say, it, but okay. We grow apart. You know, things happen. You grow up. You start realizing that you know maybe that person's not for you because they may be turning you into something that you know in your heart that you're not. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Or mm-hmm. you're tired of wearing a mask that mm-hmm. that's getting really, really hard to wear and put on every day. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's because you're mm-hmm. dealing with this person. I mean, anybody else got something they want to talk? They want to ask? Mm-hmm. Like, am I, I mean, preaching? I mean, you know, I got, got a little quiet in here. Who? Got a little quiet in here. I mean, I'm I'm you, realizing my truth. So you know, in this that's world, the, that's so the amen, that's the amen king over there. I'm not trying to go out here and fuck up nobody, nobody else. But I realize my truth. So All right, I can't be nobody but me. Amen. All Straight right. up. So, mm-hmm. personal trainer, dancer, mm-hmm. burlesque dancer. Uh huh. Drug dealer. Drug no. dealer. What else? <laughs> <laughs> Porn star. No, 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 no. So you no, got no, money? No, no. Excuse me? You say you do just drug, you got money? Nah, I ain't got no damn money. 
you ain't. Good, you <laughs> I ain't, mean, tomorrow's payday though. You ain't a good drug dealer. Then. I need the good kind that roll up in the new van. Uh, uh, shit, don't you say that? We got people on the street listening. Allegedly, <laughs> look. Allegedly, come and hit me up if y'all listening. Hit me up. I want to know. That's terrible. That's mm-hmm. terrible. Mm-hmm. He don't sell drugs. Just sweaty eggs. <laughs> <laughs> look at JT listening. Ooh, I heard you. <laughs> you. You heard him. We all heard him. <laughs> I don't think we all heard him. Did y'all hear you that? Heard him. Y'all heard Sweaty yet? The first time around. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I was. I well, he's talking about burlesque and brunch. And, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I heard oil and I was like, the nah. oil was just sweating from on dropping on it your eggs. It was too much. Uh, yeah, yeah the but oil it was, like, was, it was too a much. metaphor, you know. We, yeah, we'd rather <laughs> drop it in your mouth, but, you know. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I mean, look, I thought this was real wrong, uh, uncut. It shit. is. That's the name of the show. These, these two. <laughs> two. Don't like to be messy. Who? I don't. I don't. You mm-hmm. could be a little messy. No, I can't. I can't. Why not? I can't. Yeah, you can. You just keep some napkins up here. And then whatever, you know, See? the mess spills. No, I, I, I can't. Trust me. I can't. You can't? Put mm-hmm. some bounty down. Not feeling it. Not feeling it. We have to give you some shots before the next show. That's and then not I feel like make me be messy. I feel like you would be a little <laughs> bit messy. Okay. Mm-mm. Not even a little bit? Not a little bit. I love that's it. okay. Not, you good. That's you good. Not, not. I me, love my B. Like that's not me. I love my B. He's I mean, always been be. like that. That's that's not me. Messy. You know, you, you you're trying to pull me out of character. And I, I am. And, and, and I, I am. Know, but no, you I don't want you to come no, out of no. character. Just no, a little I bit. Is. No, I is. No, you don't. You don't. I do. 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 Ooh. Well, I know as a fellow cancer, you don't want to pull that out. Thank you. Thank you. And and <laughs> I'm a Gemini. Bring hey, it on. Hey, come on. What month? Ooh, see, June. What we day? all see what that day? coming. Six. But okay, I can rock with you. I'm mid 26. Okay, we can. That's my mom's birthday. Mm, we yeah. here. All we right. here. Mm. We here. I'm sorry. What month is Gemini again? May and June. Yeah. May and June. Okay. Mm-hmm. Late, I don't know the signs that late, well. Late I only know my own. Late May, early June. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Yeah, so no, no. F- even for everybody that's watching, you're not gonna get it, the messy me. You're just gonna get the real and the raw Who's watching and uncut. They want you to be messy too? Ask them. Well, see, most of them people know I'm not messy, so they're not even gonna try me like that. See, look, you said, "Come on, smile." Yeah, <laughs> I'm smiling, but they're not gonna say, "Oh, be messy." Be like, no, I don't. They know I don't rock like that. <laughs> so what mm-hmm. else you got going on? Um, I mean, what else do you want to know? You know, what's coming up? Work? Yeah. Shit, what is coming up? What I got coming up? Mm, probably just work. Really nothing right now. Mm-mm, like nothing right now. So are you like full time fitness dance? Yes, full time um, dance uh, fitness instruction. It's a company called Three Hundred Five Fitness. Mm. Three Hundred Five Fitness dot com. You can check it out. Um, dance cardio fitness. Uh, Thirteen twenty eight Fourteenth Street Northwest. We just opened our new studio in uh, November. All right. 1328 14th Street, Northwest. Mm-hmm. Northwest. Were you so. dancing for Maya at the Howard Theater with her and Cisco's last performance? No, that was the girls. But I was here the last time. What was that? November, December, when she November, was here December. at, uh, at not Echo. What's that? You know, the club up there by Stadium. Karma. You know, yeah, Karma. I was up oh. there. I was there at that last one, at that last show. Maybe we can try to pull a rabbit out the hat and get her to Skype in, you know, if she have time on the show. Okay. You know. I'm, oh, yeah. We want to talk to Maya. So, you know. oh, wait, girl, I, I tapped you. Y'all looking Maya. at me like, oh, yeah. We wanna, okay, so, <laughs> Maya, I want to talk to you. Um, reach out to the kids. You know? Yes. They're here for you, girl. They love you. Yeah, but uh, nothing really, uh, per se. My birthday's coming up. That's all. I don't have anything planned, so don't ask me just yet. <laughs> I knew that was going to come. I said, what are you going to do for your birthday? I don't fucking know. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to probably pray and thank goodness that I'm at 34. Yeah, you know, that's right. a lot of shit's going on in this world. We got a crazy president, so you know, just enjoy yourself, enjoy your loved ones, enjoy your friends. You know, shit like that. Just 34 is a beautiful age. I turned mm-hmm. 34 in February. Oh and shit! Right, right, on. Age. So. right on. You start to ignore a lot of shit, a lot of yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I got my second cat at Child, we don't. <laughs> Shit. You got two more years? Uh, yeah. Something uh, like that. Something like that. Yeah. About two more years. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. You know, but I mean, hey. 
Embrace it. Embrace your age. B, are you 35 this year or 34? Oh, no, I'll be 34, baby. Okay, 34. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. (laughs) When's your your birthday? Um, June 28th. I think you just missed it. I just missed it. We just said that, Uh like, uh, five minutes ago. That's why I just said you just missed it. But it's all right. (sighs) We love you anyway. And for the record, 30 is still young. It is. I'm not 30 yet, but it's still young. (laughs) We, oh, yeah. we have to make them feel better. <laughs> oh, oh, you I feel fabulous. Have you seen my pictures? Tom, have you seen my photos? I feel fabulous. I love the Asian. Ah, it's a milestone. Hope you get that. Not me. I didn't say that. It's he a lot that. of people in this life that don't six make pack. it to that age. Look, I got a six pack that's popping now. That they got to feel better. Not me. That was all him. See, my mouth is talking with my hands won't say. I mean, my hands is talking with my mouth won't say. <laughs> you sip on this cranberry juice. <laughs> now everybody know when there's a red cup at the fucking table, ain't no cranberry juice in there. No, it it's a cranberry affiliate. He's he's working on cranberry affiliate. So I like so it. He's cleansing with cranberry juice. Cleansing. Oh, okay. Everything water, cranberry juice. All right, I'm so cleansing water, too. Cleanse but guys, we have about nine Bad minutes, attitude. so we have to cleansing get too. ready to get negative out, people and aura out of here. Um, Great show. Thank you for coming on. Oh, we no, no problem. Ain't no callers or nothing. We're sure. I wanted to no, we didn't even hook up the um, Google Voice. Yeah, oh, we well, got to hook that up. Maybe one well, day. I'm coming back. Because we're going. I know we, we always have callers. guests on multiple times. Well, so you're yeah, fine. Yeah, you're Give out your come social come media back. so they can contact you. Um, Fuck. I don't remember that shit. No, it is uh, <laughs> <laughs> at Candid Conan on uh, Instagram. That's Candid, C A N D I D, Conan like the Barbarian. Um, you know, Facebook, Byron Rocketman Smith. Um, I don't use Twitter, so don't even worry about that. But what's your, <laughs> you know? <laughs> don't even worry about that shit. I'll, I'll ask you off air. No, I'll ask it now. Yeah, what, what? It's real raw and uncut. But everything question. ain't for, I'm going to need you to really look at my Q&A. Because <laughs> you missed a lot of stuff. <laughs> but um, anyway, I mean, my social media <laughs> we supposed is to be uncut, Bryant's right? Anomaly on Facebook. There will be anomaly on Instagram. Mike, Mike G Riggins on Instagram, Twitter, Michael G Riggins on Facebook, and MikeGRiggins dot com. Jamil, Jamil Smith on Facebook, and don't ask me about Instagram. Still, <laughs> that's no IG Jamil. Not yet. It's been like two what? Been two three weeks. <laughs> it take five seconds. We'll get to it at some point. At least make it. <laughs> At least secure but, your name. Yeah, but, you can fix it later. Me and my friend are working on a clothing line on t shirts and underwear. Ooh, you can follow I love that underwear. on IG. We uh, ain't gonna be able to uh, Marcel Tremaine. Stop it. And really quick, I'm excited. I, I, I'm excited. Fetish. I really um I released this week um Anomaly XXX. It's a subdivision under my company um under my company. And what is that? Anomaly Entertainment. And I picked up another model by he, the name of JD Blackstone, who he, I now manage. So. What is He's, XXX? Yeah. That's a whole nother show. Oh, shit. It's several shows that you missed. You're going to have to go back. Ooh, on the TLC <laughs> tip. You can find me on Instagram at MD underscore studios. MD like the doctor. Thank y'all for tuning in to a real raw and uncut show. What you have something else to say? No. Next week's show. Next week's show is Eric. Um, easy Say It, Easy Done, and Monty. They're coming on to talk about Heartbreak Hotel at Bowie Ew. State University. I know those boys. Right. Those are really know, good fellas. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna have to bring my so homies homies. and make me a drink. Easy said, thing. "Just hit them up. Tell them make y'all drinks." Yeah, I'm gonna have yes. to hit them up. So we'll see y'all next week, same time, same location. And again, things. thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. Yes. Thanks for having me, fellas. It see was guys. a pleasure.